Hi everyone, Kate here, and this week I thought I would share another article from the 1910 book Health and Beauty Hints. This section is all about preventing wrinkles caused by headaches. Now, I've been absolutely plagued by headaches this summer, so I was very happy when this topic tied for first place in a Patreon poll. While I don't mind that I am going to develop more wrinkles as I age, I want them to be happy wrinkles from laughing and smiling and not marks made by wincing in pain all the time. <laughs> as a frequent headache sufferer, I figured it was worth a shot to try out this bit of historical advice and see if it helped. To be sure to properly test this out, I did wait until I had a really bad headache before filming, so if I look a little off in this video, it's because I am actually in pain. <laughs> Well, without any further ado, here is the original article as written. A woman who suffers from headaches and, as a result, has a lined face may better the condition by treating her skin, as does a matron whom I know who for years has applied cold cream to her complexion at the first indication of a pain in the head. The application is not to relieve the pain, but to prevent the skin from feeling the strain, and with her it has succeeded admirably. Every woman knows that at the approach of a headache she involuntarily raises her brows or draws them together the result in either case being lines. Also, her eyes being affected by the pain, they close, either entirely or partly so, and the muscles about the corners become tense. That means a shortcut to crow's feet, and in a year the face is unwarrantably old. The cold cream method is certainly worth trying. It consists of using a basin of hot water, and it is better that the liquid should be in a vessel that can be kept over heat, and two pieces of soft white flannel. This arrangement should be on a stand by the couch or bed. Then the face about the forehead and the corners of the eyes is first rubbed thickly with cold cream, massaging it into the pores with the fingertips. The water will tend to remove it, of course, so that it becomes necessary that the grease shall be driven deep into the pores. Once this is done, one cloth is wrung from the water that should be as hot as the skin can endure. This compress is folded and quickly laid over the upper part of the face and covered with a soft towel to help hold in the heat. If this is done for a time, renewing the cloth or putting on another as the first becomes cool, the heat may reduce the pain. In any event, the skin receives a gentle steaming that prevents it from becoming drawn. It is not necessary to continue the application indefinitely. After 15 or 20 minutes, the treatment may be stopped, not to be renewed for a couple of hours. The entire object is to prevent muscle tenseness. If the pain passes away during the day, the face should be well soaked for some minutes in cold water to act as an astringent after the softening process. And that's the end of the article. While I have no evidence if this really has any long-term benefits in terms of wrinkles, I did find this treatment very soothing. My headache certainly didn't go away, but it felt a lot better by the end. 
Also, steaming and moisturizing are both beneficial to the skin. Given how smooth and moisturized my forehead felt afterwards, I may try something similar to this in the future, just as a general beauty treatment. The addition of the towel over top of the hot cloth actually made quite a big difference. I've tried hot compresses before, but they always cool down super quickly. The extra towel really helped to keep in the heat much longer, and was also handy for cleaning up any spills of the water. Of which I made quite a few. Speaking of which, my only real issue with this article was the need to keep the water warm. The article says both to keep the basin beside you, and also mentions something about keeping it on the heat. I'm not really sure what the author meant by this. I don't know about you, but I don't have a stove beside my bed. <laughs> and setting up a hot plate nearby sounded like a fire hazard. How the water would have been kept warm originally, I'm not quite sure. Maybe insulating the bowl a little better would have kept the water warmer. It was alright by the end of the 15 minutes, but it definitely had cooled down. Maybe keep it in a thermos? I don't know. <laughs> well, that's it for this week. If there are any headache sufferers out there that are watching this that have some interesting tips or tricks to deal with the pain or the side effects thereof, please let me know down in the comments below. I'm sure myself and any other headache sufferers, we're, we're always looking for new tips because nothing seems to work. <laughs> so... As always, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! This video is made possible through the generous support of my Patreon members. Thank you. What are you doing? I can guarantee you're not helping. Yeah, it's a bowl of water, but it's not for you.